and that is just like we all bloated we all walking around here inflamed okay because we don't know any better hi guys welcome back to another video today we're talking all things health and wellness so if you guys have seen my how to lose weight fast in one week 10 pounds down in one week video which has been a lot of the source of like some of my like YouTube traction you guys were really into that video um, and since then I have made a couple of healthy transitions and changes um, that I felt like I needed to come on here and drop to you guys drop some gems if y'all are on game because we got to let go of premier protein and I'm gonna tell you why in this video stay tuned don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already get the video big thumbs up and let's get into all the reasons why you need to make the change from premier protein to core power. I've drinking Premier Protein for many years actually and recently y'all probably seen Premier Protein all on your socials about its harmful lead contents. A lot of the times grocery shopping takes me a lot longer these days because I am more intentional with the type of products that I bring into my house. Now yeah, here and there I'll buy a box of Rice Krispie Treats. Uh, for my kid and I'll have one here and there or some good cereal you know what I'm saying but for the things the daily everyday not cheating type of products that I bring into my home I do like to truly just look at the ingredients and my motto lately has been if I can't figure out or, or spell or pronunciate or know what this product is in my <laughs> food then I probably shouldn't be getting it or I need to do some research on what that is in my food and dig a little deeper into whether or not it is a good thing to consume whether it's a good thing to consume in moderation or just to not have at all and so today I'll be giving the pros and cons to basically both protein shake options but I'm going to kind of be showing you guys why I made the switch to core power um, I am not like a health and nutritionist expert a lot of the products and ingredients that I'm going to be reading off today like I don't fully know what they are or I have to do more research for myself too which is super transparent but I'm going to give you the reasons why I made the switch and some of the things that stood out to me that helped me make the decision to like leave Premier Protein in the past and because this video gets that previous video has gotten so many views I felt like it was important for me to come on here and let y'all know like your girl ain't even drinking those no more let me show you what I am drinking and you can do the same thing that I did in that video with these shakes on face value when it comes to the Premier Protein shakes you can see that it looks like okay this is a good source of protein I'm able to get my protein intake without the added sugars without the added carbohydrates and for most people who are losing weight these are some of the important things that you're looking for and the things that you're consuming like okay are the carbs low is the sugar low are the added sugars zero etc etc it has some good things on the surface face value however there are some ingredients in the small print that you have to read that are included in these drinks that over time like longevity are not like I said cause bad gut health um, and some of the properties like the lead amount in the product in my opinion when you have more knowledge you are allowed to change your mind which is why I've made the switch from premier protein to core power I want to talk about some of the key differences in both of the products in my opinion I do feel like just being completely transparent that it is picking it's almost like pick your poison but one poison isn't as bad as the other because I'm not gonna sit here and lie that core power doesn't have some of the same ingredients that premier protein has that aren't all that good example some added sugars which I will list out in a moment here so from face value you see that the premier protein has 160 calories 30 grams of protein which is good and then one gram of sugar and I believe the carbs are below three grams of carbs so when you see the bottle you're like oh this is awesome this is going to promote my my weight loss this can be a meal supplement um and it's true it when you're comparing it straight to core power which i have one right here right now i'm drinking the chocolate one and i always get the ones that are 42 grams of protein and not 26 um they have two different ones two different types of or two different amounts of protein in the shakes um but straight off the bat a person wouldn't really grab the core power because the core power is 230 
calories versus the 160 that you get from the one bottle on the Premier Protein. Total carbs are nine grams, total sugars is seven grams. So although some of the nutrition facts that you would look for in a premier protein are a lot higher in the core power i think the longevity is important because if you're trying to lose weight you should also be in the gym you know lifting weights as well to help tone the body as you are shorting the weight and the core powers are really good for post workout you know rejuvenation to build those muscles back up um because most of us think like oh i just want to lose weight so let me just go do a whole bunch of cardio and keep myself in a caloric deficit but i think in the long term you'll thank yourself if you do lift a little bit now i'm not trying to like bulk yourself up but lift a little bit and then restore your muscles and things with a core power i also use the core power as meal supplements as well how i did with the premier protein i want to dig a little bit deeper into the ingredients and what really caused the switch for me two things that the premier protein shakes have that the core power do not have are sunflower oil and soybean oil these oils are direct causes to cancer and a multitude of other things um that you can potentially subject yourself to if you you know intake them in lo larger amounts now both items the protein premier protein and the core power contain these harmful ingredients in less than one percent in each package however core power doesn't have those at all one comparison that the core power and the protein premier protein shakes both have that i could care less for are the natural flavors natural flavors if you aren't aware are in most of the products that you eat most of the products that are on the shelves even the things that say organic, the things that say that they're healthy, you look in those ingredients and usually natural flour or soybean oil are some of the two first listed products on those ingredient packages. Um, and you just really want to stay away from those for the same reasons that I um, stated before. Soybean oil, natural flavors, and sunflower oil are just so bad for you, but are literally found in everything that you consume almost. The last few ingredients that I want to point out that are contained in Premier Protein, which were major for me making the switch over, and I did write them down, so I'm going to read off of my phone, so I'm actually saying the proper names and things. Premier Protein includes high, um, and I might pronounce some of these wrong, so don't come for me in the comments. High like sunflower oil, natural and artificial flavors, inulin, cellulose gel, and cellulose gum, carrageenan, tripotassium phosphate dipotassium phosphate and sodium hexametaphosphate <laughs> to like slow it down okay slow it down i have this stuff i can't even pronounce but after doing some further research i realized that these are the probably the worst ingredients that you can probably have in in a in a food that you're consuming and premier protein houses every single one of these now like i stated before it is kind of like pick your poison one is better than the other because core power does have some of these ingredients some of the ones that stand out the most that are harmful to you are the natural flavors are the cellulose gum the cellulose gel which core power does have and then core power also has a lot of artificial sugars so if you're someone which can't which isn't all that negative but if your body reacts negatively to artificial sugars that's something you might want to think about if you are going to make the change to core power and some of those artificial sugars include monk fruit juice concentrate uh, stevia leaf extract the cellulose gum cellulose gel as well as the asulfame potassium again they are in less than one percent of the ingredients and most of those are listed towards the end fun fact if you didn't know while looking at the ingredients of your product of the food they list in highest priority so the first item the first name that you see on the ingredient list is what it has the most in there and it continues to list based on the amount so like whatever's last on the list is has the least of that in the product like i said take a look take some time but while you're shopping look at the ingredients most of the first the first ingredient is natural flavors and that is just like we all bloated we all walk around here inflamed okay because we don't know any better however some of the benefits some of the reasons that i switched to core power aside from the negative it's almost like okay i can 
find something that has maybe has some of these items but on a smaller quantity um, and more beneficial products than negative and which is why core power was a switch first of all let's just talk about the 42 grams of protein you cannot get 42 grams out of premier protein just just facts they, they have them in both 26 and 42 grams um, they only have three flavors, which are the vanilla, the chocolate, and the strawberry. I know that there are tons of other flavors when it comes to Premier Protein, but think about how they make them taste like that. Let's really digest that because why do they taste so good? Yeah, it ain't good for you. <laughs> I will say something about the Core Power is that the nutrition facts do fluctuate based on the flavor in which you're drinking. So I know that like for the vanilla, the sugars might be higher than they are for the chocolate um, and so on and so forth. Whereas Premier Protein is going to be the same, this amount of protein, this amount of sugars, this amount of carbs. It does fluctuate with core power. So please be mindful of that if you're like a numbers person and really like focusing in on how much you're intaking based on what you're eating. Another benefit to the Core Power, not only does it have this huge amount of protein, but the flavor and the consistency are on point. It has a consistency of like milk. It tastes very good. It's not thick in your mouth. The texture is like, there is no texture basically. It's just like a liquid, like literally just like chocolate milk. That's what it tastes like. That's what it feels like I'm drinking when I have my protein shake. And I really, really appreciate that because nothing's worse than feeling like you have to chug your protein shake because it really ain't all that good. These actually taste good and have better ingredients in them to make them taste that way. Another benefit of the Core Power is it has all nine, all essential, all nine essential amino acids, which is important for that recovery when you are leaving the gym. So I either do these before I go to the gym so I can have some protein on myself, uh, so I can have some protein that I'm burning through as I'm working out or I'll drink them after to help recover my muscles um, and like I said I do them also as a meal replacement um, which helps a lot because if you're bulking out there these are a wonderful choice for you to get an extra added protein intake because 42 grams is nuts like and you can literally get these anywhere you could go to your local gas station you could get them at Kroger's Publix. You can also get them at Sam's Club. You can get them in bulk there. They sell them in a pack of eight. And so, yeah, not only do they taste good, they have better ingredients, better pizza, better bitches, better money, better. Better ingredients, better pizza, <laughs> better <laughs> bitches, <laughs> better money, my clothes, better my shoes, um, better. Better tasting, better protein, better ingredients, and it is reasonably priced. So it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg to get these you can get the pack of eight from sam's club for 24 dollars um i think Publix usually has them like two for eight so it's really not a bad source of protein so the truth is both protein shakes are not a hundred percent clean but when you're really making those decisions and making those switches it's important to cut out at least some of the things and not contain something that has every single bad Thing you could think of or you could pick something like core power where it's like okay maybe it has natural flavor and cellulose gum neither option is 100 percent clean but when really diving deep into the ingredients that are in both of the products it is clear as day to see that premier protein houses way more harmful ingredients than core power does and it's important to really just take a moment to look at what you're consuming because although it looks good on the packaging doesn't always mean that it is good for you in the long run i do think that although core power can make some good changes here and there and some of their ingredients you get far more benefits premier protein is not lactose free okay contains milk okay and soy so my stomach be throwing up gang signs when <laughs> i drink those in um, large amounts and when I drink the core power because it is fueled by fair life protein so you guys know fair life with the lactose free milk that's pretty much all I keep in my refrigerator if I'm not getting like the target brand but we all know fair life is trusted so with that being said if you haven't already you need to make the switch to core power get that protein intake and do it at a cost that's not gonna like cost to your life basically <laughs> okay we gotta leave premier protein in the past and it just really was on my chest to have to do this video because it is like my most viewed video and so i just hate giving out like false info you know what i'm saying or like 
if I'm changing something, I want to update you guys and let you guys know what I'm doing. I am looking to do another one of those like weekly fast where I'm pretty much just drinking the core power. I need to do it when I have some time off because I don't really like to make myself suffer while I'm at work. Um, but the next time I have some time off and give you guys a little bit of time to like, you know, let me know in the comments if y'all are interested in another week of fasting and doing just the premier pro or sorry look at me stuck in the past just the core power protein shakes comment below hashtag core power if you're interested in seeing me do the challenge again but with these protein shakes instead of the premier protein shakes and you know your girl will produce okay that's just that anyways <laughs> i think that pretty much sums up the whole reason why i'm here today on today's video to let you guys know that premier protein is out and core power is in and we need to make the change today and if you do let me know in the comments how you like them how do they taste are you able to find them easily in your area where you live that's about it love y'all as always thank you so so much for watching i hope this video was helpful to someone and if you haven't still watch my other video of the how to lose weight fast 10 pounds in one week. I think you guys will find a lot of good info in there as well. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.